Hey guys, welcome back to our channel and we have another vlog for you continuation of the last vlog that we've done um, part 2 of our house tour so we're gonna do a first floor tour we'll, we'll walk around and show you the house okay, provided they give way to me <laughs> the two kiddos okay, you wanna show them the house? do you wanna show them what's upstairs guys? Hmm? come come on kiddos Masha Ellie, come. Okay, so where are we gonna start? We're gonna start at the master's. The uh, master's bedroom. Okay. Come on, guys. So this is our master's bedroom. And the same deal as downstairs. So you have the motorized blinds. Beautiful. It's actually not bad now. It has been raining the last couple of days, but yeah, it's beautiful. Get a really nice um light coming out there from the window and we have the massive bed body that I don't know how we even managed to bring it all the way up here it was a struggle that's for sure when we moved in this one here if you can see this is our wardrobe it's not as messy <laughs> at the moment we tried to give it a bit of a clean up apologize for the mess and the bit of basha shedding <laughs> so a bit of fluff going on this is our bathroom and shower and look at this guys how awesome is that LED mirror with a heating as well so you just turn it on to prevent it from fogging up awesome and yeah that's our ensuite toilet shower just your basic stuff Okay, now we go to the office slash mini entertainment room. So we have our old couch set up here from the old house. The TV as well, and again, this is a motorized table. You can adjust it. <laughs> How awesome is that? You can actually work standing up as well. If you get tired of sitting down, Awesome, nice window there, we have heating and air conditioning. Oh, and how cool is this? This is actually a very wide door. Ta -da! If you notice there's no wardrobe here because we actually removed it from the plan to convert it as an office. As you know, these days in the world we live in, we work more from home. Oh, most of us who can, uh, who can work, sorry. This is our guest room. Beautiful. This is like a display model guest room. So it's all set up. Beautiful. A wardrobe here. Okay. I love this room, although I haven't slept in this. <laughs> and this is Ellie's favorite spot, just hanging out in the hallway. Then we have our fourth room, this is our recreation slash workout room, gym room, whatever you want to call it. This is where, you know, you have the setup here, have the rig, the PlayStation 5, the steering wheel. I love these games. And we have our exercise bits here, treadmill and exercise bike. So. Yeah, we don't really have much of an excuse not to exercise, even when the weather is uh, not favorable outside. And yeah, Puppy's favorite spot. For some reason, this is his domain. <laughs> Alright, and our favorite highlight in this is our bathroom. This is Eddie's bedroom as well. <laughs> no, he sleeps here a lot for some reason. I think it must be the tiles because it's cold. Um, anyway, this is yeah, this is our bathroom. We have our freestanding baths. Very relaxing here. Isn't it much? Hey. Um, we also what else did we do here? We upgraded our tiles. I love it. It's very nice looking. And very spacious. The only thing is we only have one light, so during the uh, night time it's very, it's kind of like 
not enough light to be stuck in here, but it's all good. Shower. It's a good, decent space with the niche. I love that. That was a good idea. Good upgrade. Okay. And last but not the least, my favorite spot in here when I'm chilling is this. I can have coffee here, chew with the kiddos, with the doggies. When they're playing around, I'm just watching them, supervising, making sure they're not rough. <laughs> no. But yeah, um, we're really happy with the setup. <laughs> just some key points, guys. Um, uh, if you follow our journey when we were building this, we actually built this from scratch, you know, buying your land and then finding a builder, a suitable builder you can make it fit. Just some key points that we know, um, learned is, uh, for example, like the lighting, make sure it's sufficient lighting, um, especially if your house is within like double story houses um, next to it, lighting is important. So things will help, lots of windows, lighting, and like a skylight, if you can see. It gives you natural light during the day as well. So it's awesome. Um, another thing is, you can actually modify a few things like wardrobe, you know, like what we've done here. We don't really need it. So you can remove it from more space as well. Um, you can also um, add like, air conditioning or evaporative in our case we just installed it here as well upstairs so during the summertime we save more electricity by not running the aircon all day because we can also just open the windows run the evaporative cooling throughout the whole house and yeah it's good good idea to plan ahead like that you know yes hey, Basha you're very curious I know I'm just explaining to them the house and the setup and last but not the least uh, yeah, just when you're building, just make sure everything falls within the budget. I mean, there are times where you just want to like upgrade everything because when you go to the display home, everything looks beautiful and nice. But get a factor in the budget. There's a reason why it's so nice because it's got all the upgrade. So in that, on that note, I think we're gonna wrap this up. And we, once again, thank you for tuning in, supporting our channel, and. Also, if you like it, you can like or subscribe and also follow our kiddos, the doggies, Basha and Ellie. We featured them a lot in the vlog. So, yeah, until then, thank you for tuning in. Bye bye now.